I see things that others do not. A different world. A world that's changed enormously just in my lifetime. My backyard was the Gulf of Mexico. That's where I first fell in love with the ocean. I think if others had the opportunity to witness what I have seen in my lifetime from thousands of hours underwater, I would not seem like a radical at all. It's a pleasure to introduce a scientist, an engineer, a teacher, and an explorer. The ocean is dying. All of us, we are the beneficiaries of having burned through fossil fuels. But at what cost? 60 years ago, when I began exploring the ocean, no one imagined that we could do anything to harm it. I saw the after influence of what we can do to the natural world. Think of the world without an ocean. You've got a planet a lot like Mars. No ocean, no life. No ocean, no us. In 1990, she became the chief scientist for NOAA, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. I went to one meeting, and I was never allowed to go again. <laughs> I feel that I must resign and, as a private citizen, do what I can do with more freedom. She's not afraid to say, you know, you know what you're doing and it's wrong. I really speak for the ocean. If we continue business as usual, we're in real trouble. She's made it her life's purpose to make sure everybody else understands what's going on. Sylvia has a wish for the planet, what she calls her mission blue. Protect the ocean in the same way we now protect the land. I wish for a global network of marine protected areas to save and restore the ocean.